Uh, Alright, guys. Everything is on fire. And I don't know why. Ah! Please? Why is everything on fire? Everything is on fire! Why are the trees by my house on fire as well? What's going on? I'm so confused. Why? Why is everything on fire? <laughs> what sets things on fire? Uh, now I gotta clean this up. I just plant the rest of this and... Be all good. Yeah, it's been a long time uh, I, since I started planting seeds. Maybe two, three years ago. We are almost there. And done. Beautiful. Hey my two seeds, I'm in. Today we are back on modern Minecraft now. My magic, I've... I've started doing magic stuff, guys. And we need to we need to do this because we full up. Uh, right, uh, I need that, and then do that, and then do that. Sorry, I sh I, I need to empty that out a little bit. <laughs> Otherwise, we're wasting mana. Ah, oh, man. Right. Okay. Come here. Right. We do this. Ta da! Sorry, I know what I'm doing, but uh, you you guys probably don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I am playing with Ars Nouveau again, and uh, we're, we're making some magic today. We've got our mana gems, kind of. I went on a little bit of a, a mining spree again. I got a bit more. They are surprisingly rare, and annoyingly, they don't get affected by fortune, which is it's, it's just great. Uh, <laughs> but I need hay, and I need... Pumpkins, because I am making the most efficient mana farm on the planet, kind of. Because you guys have seen them before. Unfortunately, they seem to have an expiry date, but uh, I'm making more. And uh, that's five. I always do six for some reason. And we need some shears. I forgot to see shears. But you guys have seen these guys on my channel before. Just get some shards. Do -do 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 -do. Ta da! They are gonna make my f my mana farm a l so much more efficient because they are gonna keep the farm growing. And every time one of these grows up one stage, it puts some mana into that little box. And I need mana to make magic spells. So, <laughs> I've got another one over there, which I actually need to do the uh, golems for. So, you got, I got one in there. There we go. Off you go, little guys. So, they are, <laughs> they are literally just going to keep on replanting and keep the farm going. So, I mean, it's already full. Already, kind of. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do this one. There we go. So this print prints glyphs, which I need to use for making spells. There we go. Interact. Okay, so now that I've unlocked interact, as you can see in chat, I get this, my spell book. And do that. I can now use it. Ooh, whoops. Use this. <laughs> To uh, create a new spell, which is absolutely awesome. So we've already got you die now, which is this one. So let's, uh, let's have a look. I've also unlocked aquatic and leap. I want to try out leap. Self leap. Jumpy spell. Great. Try this. So. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> it's actually flies. Whee! But you take full damage, which is kind of annoying, but uh, it's gonna be fine. And I wanna see. Uh, let's 
I want to see if there's a, a healing one. But it might be... It might be a tier 3. Uh, let's have a look. Nope. Summon Vex. Ooh. Blink. Lightning. Heal. Okay. So it's heal. Glistening, glistening melon slice. Ooh, whoops. We can, we can do that. I think. Glistening melon slice. Yes. So if we do this one next, we can do it. So that, do that. It's not letting me do it for some reason. Just do another one. Do, do this one. Look at him go! Go, let my, go, my little pretties. Go! They're so cute as well. Right, now we got harvest, which is good. We do, we do need to empty that one out a little bit. So let's, let's move it over here. Because this one is full. <laughs> Alright, let's put it there. Let's see if I can do this glistening melon one again. It's not a pit. You want to be closer, don't you? Okay, right. Put you there. Not appear to be enough mana, no way. Why? You're right next to it. Let's just do this and then do that. Okay, I don't know why the glistening melon isn't working. Mana cost medium. Tier two. I should be able to do it if it's tier two. Oh wait, no. I'm on tier one. Yeah, I can't do it because I'm not tier two. I think. Okay, we'll just we'll keep it in mind. Ooh, what's light? If cast on a block, permanent light source is created when cast on an entity. The ooh, ooh, lan lantern. Some of these are really cool. I mean, if we get the heal one done, that would be super, super helpful. Okay, right. Can I do this now? There we go. <laughs> so. This is making this magic and unlocking all of these glyphs. We got light. Let's see. I mean, we could do our own night vision. See if we can. I mean, it's turning night time now, which is super helpful. So if we. Oops. It's fine. Uh, do this self light. Sparkly. Oh guys, we just gave ourselves night vision. How long is it for? Uh, only like 20 seconds, but that's fine. I mean, it's pretty cool. This one is almost full again. We're just gonna be keep going. We're gonna run out of mana stones before we run out of mana. Ah, uh, man, this is awesome. Right, uh, we can't do that one again. This is awesome. I love this. Uh, let's do, let's do this one. I don't know if you've got to unlock all the glyphs to go up to the next year. That could be possible. I already know the spell. What? Break. Do I? Oh. <laughs> I do know it. Okay. Uh, what other ones are? Oh, that one. We can do this one. You know, inadvertently give ourselves night vision every time we open the thing. <laughs> There we go. Haste. I'm guessing that one gives us haste. Ooh, whoops. Uh, haste. Yeah. Smelt. Smelt blocks and items in the world. In the world? AoE will increase the number of items of radius. And radius. Mm. Grab this again, and then we'll go to the other one. We should just keep going back and forth between the two. Put this back down here. And then... What's the next one we can do? Mm, amplify. Additionally, increases the power of most... Okay. So if you just get a diamond... You got plenty of them. Hi. 
Can you get off my front porch, please? So if we get amplified, we can get stronger things. I keep doing it. I need to press the button. <laughs> I don't know if I want to amplify sparkly. Jumpy spell? Probably not. Uh, that one we do want. Uh, if we do this. Hi! You're going to be my test subject. I mean, you're wearing armor, so it's not... <clears throat> what other one can we do now? I thought I'm super excited for these. Like, I just... Place block. Ooh, what's phantom? Ooh! Creates a temporary block that will disappear after a short time. This looks cool. We just needed some scaffolding, which I believe I've got plenty of. Hello. Are you helping? No, you're not helping. You're getting in the way. Do that. And then... Keep doing this. <laughs> right, let's do... Do projectile and then phantom. Amplify. Steppy, steppy. Yeah, steppy, steppy block. <gasps> Ooh, phantom block. You only do one. You can't place one on top of the other. That's really helpful. <laughs> um, I don't know about that one. Seems kind of. I don't know what use I would have for that. The one thing that I do love about this mod is that you can do it when it do or create spells whenever you want if you press the right button. Uh, aquatic. I want to try self aquatic augment fish. Do this. Let's go over over here. Do this, and it gives us conduit power. I can breathe on the water, guys. I can breathe. This one will be super helpful. It's actually quite a long uh, duration as well. You, you can just keep on going with it, which is super helpful. Like, I've got respiration on my helmet, but having conduit power as well will be super helpful. But yeah, this is a really cool mod, and I'm, <laughs> I'm really looking forward to using it and utilizing it, because a lot of the spells are, like, super super helpful where's my notebook oh this one especially when we get into like tier two and tier three got aoe which is going to be interesting fortune which again was super helpful and heal uh unlock pro unlock process so as we cast that can be cast using an apprentice spell book which is what i've got for i I'm guessing we need to unlock all of these in order to in order to use them. Yeah, this is like super cool. Got the machines. Warding stone is gonna be super helpful as well. The warding stone, a block that will act as a fence for monsters. So monsters cannot walk over it and it's just like oh a warp force ooh. All portals like warp scrolls provide a one-way teleportation to any location. Fancy! I mean... <laughs> I've just added a... you've probably seen it. Just added a particular mod called the Waystone mod, I think. Yep, Waystones. Which kind of makes that obsolete, but, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. And we got these, which is awesome. But we need to get a Archmage spellbook and let me just uh, show you this. <laughs> Three emeralds, another style which I haven't gotten into doing yet. I need to do uh, do some wither fighting in, in the near future, guys. So I've got some totems of undying, so that's fine. I have one here. I have another one, I think. Yep. 
So we've got a spare. So yeah, it's, it's a really cool mod and I'm super excited to using it. And you can do like summoning and stuff and it's just, it's, it looks really, really cool. And I will get into it further. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, and as if you haven't guessed, I'm leaving you there. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, it means a lot the amount of support you give me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Whoops. Bye-bye. <laughs>